What's poppin' my honey boo boos? It's your girl Des, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the groceries I just bought because I just got home from the grocery store, and then we're gonna be making dinner together. But before we could get into any of that, you already know we gotta get lit first. So of course, I'm gonna be getting lit with you guys as well. And if you're excited for today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, especially if you guys want more cooking videos. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up because I know I already get a ton of requests but I don't know I need the motivation so let me know down below in the comments too any other recipes I should try cuz I love to cook it's low-key therapeutic and I'm not the best but I love trying new things and I just have my staple recipes that I would love to show you guys in a future video so also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys do not miss out on any future videos and also be sure to hit the bell button so that way you guys could get notified every time I upload a new video so I know you guys are always asking what you're smoking on and today I'm actually going to be smoking some Corova flower. They were so kind enough to stop by in San Diego and give me a little visit. Like look at how big this box is. It's literally heavy. I'm struggling right now. And if you guys want to know all the freaking goodies that came in here, be sure to follow my Instagram, Life Not Being Desk. I'm also going to be doing a plug play giveaway plus a ton of other giveaways. So you know, you just want to hit up the gram, but specifically I did an unboxing of all the goodies in here, so be sure to check it out and let me know what your favorite item from this box is. These nugs are really, really pretty. Don't mind my nails. Mmm, I'm obsessed. Cheers. So now it is grocery time. First off, I got some cucumbers, some fresh baby cucumbers. I am actually a big fan of those. Ever since I tried them, I'm never going back to regular cucumbers. Those ones are bomb.com. Also, I got some Sprouts Green Goddess dressing because I am going to be making some salad. And I'll tell you guys a little bit more about what kind of salad when I get to the other ingredients. I also got some hummus. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm a really big fan of hummus. I think it's just so delicious and has some protein and kind of filling. I just, it's, it's a win-win. And then I got two cans of garbanzo beans. I love making like chickpea tuna salad and stuff like that. It's not real tuna salad, but you replace the tuna with the chickpeas and it's super fire. Now these are super fire. I'm obsessed with these with some hummus. And these were actually on sale, not on sale, but they were on a special deal where you get two bags for $6. And unfortunately, this was the last jalapeno bag. So I couldn't get two bags of jalapenos because I definitely would because I could finish a whole bag of these in one day. I'm obsessed. I've never tried these ones. These are the spinach and kale, but you know, they sound very healthy. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna force myself to eat these whether I like them or not because instead of eating hot Cheetos, that's pretty much what I eat or pita chips because I still love me some chips. And then I'm gonna be making pasta tonight for dinner, which I'm gonna show you guys the little recipe. It's actually a new recipe I've never tried, so I'm really excited. And these are some noodles I'm gonna go ahead and use for that pasta. I got two packages of cherry tomatoes because I have a few recipes that require these. And then I'm kind of crazy because I got some dairy items and then I also get some vegan non-dairy items and some pop some people probably think I'm freaking crazy. Like, what, what's the point of buying half vegan cheese and then the other half is regular cheese? But really, in my mind, the way I think is like, I would rather eat a dish that has like one ingredient that is not vegan and that has dairy rather than an entire dish that's full of all kinds of ingredients that aren't dairy. So pretty much when I go to the store, I try my best to find you know um, vegan stuff but if I can't and I need it for a recipe I will not if it's meat but if it's dairy I will like YOLO but anyways I've tried this before and it's super good it's feta crumbs but it's dairy free so it's a vegan and I love to sprinkle this on top of my salad it's just that special little touch that makes you feel like you're eating in a restaurant and it I don't know in a way it motivates me to want to eat more at home so I'm like you know what even though it's an extra little ingredient, it's going to motivate me to want to eat more salad at home because I'm going to be like, oh, I have my fancy little vegan cheese. So 
I got it. And then I also got this. I've never tried a Sprouts version of almond butter. But I like that it's a big container and it was only $6. And usually I get like a little can of it. It probably has half the amount that this does. And it's like the same price. So pretty much I got this because I thought it was gonna be the same thing but cheaper i also got one onion because i actually got some vegan hot dogs and i like to use the onion when i make the hot dogs you know add some flavor i got some romaine hearts that i'm going to use to make my salad i also got some bananas because i love me my breakfast smoothies i got some lemon for all kinds of reasons you know always just need some lemon i think every time i go grocery shopping i always buy lemon if i don't already have some the type of salad i'm gonna be making this week is grilled salmon salad so i'm super excited because i got some grilled sam or no, no no not grilled i got some fresh salmon that i'm gonna go ahead and grill and then top on top of my salad for my hot dogs you already know i had to get some hot dog buns these are wheat hot dog buns and then i also got some fresh broccoli so that way i can make some broccoli as a side for you know whenever i make that salmon whenever i make the um pasta just always gotta have some sort of vegetable i got my vegan hot dogs these are pretty fire i'm a big fan of these but sometimes i do get tired of them so i i'll buy them every now and then i also got this bag of avocados that were probably overpriced because they were organic and fancy but honestly i just didn't feel like picking out a bunch of avocados so I was like, you know what i'm gonna just grab a bag so that's what I did. And then I got these Beyond Burger Patties. And I'm going to try to eat my first ever vegan burger lettuce wrap. Because you guys just saw I don't have any burger buns. And I have these burger patties now. So to be healthier, I'm going to try to wrap it in some lettuce. Like the romaine heart lettuce. And then it'll be a lettuce wrap. Burger. and then for my pasta i'm so excited because this pasta is actually a tiktok recipe i've never tried it before so i didn't know what cheese to buy so i got feta cheese and then i also got mozzarella cheese and i low-key want to put both because that doesn't seem like too much cheese right or is it we'll find out <laughs> but that's everything i bought you guys literally everything so now i'm gonna go ahead and put everything in the refrigerator and we're gonna get to cooking but you already know first we gotta take a hit so cheers without any further ado let's go get it popping boo okay my honey boo boo so i got my glass pan right here i got my oven heating up to 400 degrees and now i'm gonna wash my cherry tomatoes and then you're gonna get some olive oil and put that up in there and then i think you want to put that in there now Ooh. all right so i'm not a chef so i don't got all the actual spices i think you're supposed to put in here so i'm gonna just put random spices like onion powder garlic powder salt and pepper a little bit of turmeric i don't know if that's a good combo for this recipe i feel like you need some something green like what's that green like it looks like this but it's green like leaves and i feel like every tiktok i've seen of this video or recipe like they use that but i don't know what that is and I don't got it, so I'm gonna just use what I got. Now I'm gonna get my little spoon and mix it all together. Ooh. The next part is my favorite. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna get the feta. Oh shoot, why am I dropping it in there? I look, you want to try some. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So, what I saw them do was mix it around like that. 
and then they flipped it. And then what they do is get a little bit more oil and they drizzle it on the cheese and they get more spices. So I should have put this like first, but whatever. Fresh garlic. Now I'm gonna mix it with onion. If you hear that in the background, it's Dojo playing around in the grocery bags. But look at how cute! Like, mmm, it smells good already. But I'm gonna be extra and add mozzarella cheese. Ugh, it literally says goat milk cheese. I'm s I didn't. Ugh. I didn't pay attention. I thought this was normal mozzarella. <laughs> I don't know, man. This might make this whole thing terrible. But oh well. I'm just going to stack it on top. A little bit more pepper. Look at how beautiful this looks. Okay, you guys. So now all we got to do is... Stick this in the oven for 30 minutes and then cook our pasta. I'm gonna throw in some spinach on my pasta and we'll take it from there. So I have my pasta. Look at how delicious it looks. It was so easy. Honestly, if this is a good pasta, I'm about to make this all the time. But first, we gotta get lit. So cheers. Okay, you guys. So now, moment of truth. Let's see. Let's get some spinach in that bite. Okay. I'm going to take a big bite so I can really taste all the flavor. Cheers. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. These pasta noodles are thick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for cooking with me. Be sure to tag me if you guys recreate this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my delicious pasta and I'm gonna let you guys go. But thank you so much once again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to hit the bell button so you guys don't miss out. And don't forget to also subscribe to the Life Being High, the podcast YouTube channel because a new podcast episode just dropped. So I want you guys to be able to go listen to it and not miss out. And then also be sure to follow my new Instagram, Life Not Being Dust, and my new TikTok, Life Being Dust Zero, because my old accounts did get deleted. But thank you so much for all the endless support. I love you guys so freaking much. But most importantly, please, please, please do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. Double deuce until next time.